The Apple Watch Uber app has just been discontinued. Here's why it matters. When Apple launched the Apple Watch Series 3, it added cellular connectivity as an option. This was a significant upgrade and offered real freedom, for an awful lot of features, your watch no longer needed to be next to your iPhone. It's like it had suddenly grown up enough to see the world on its own. Sure, in many cases, users have their iPhone right nearby anyway, and there are still plenty of scenarios where a notification pops up on the watch that merely redirects you to the iPhone. But this freedom is plenty useful, to make an urgent call when your iPhone battery has died, for instance. When Series 3 launched, Uber was one of the examples several Apple execs gave me as to why cellular connectivity mattered. Supposing, I was told, I'd gone on a long run, an activity for which I didn't need my iPhone as GPS is built into the watch. And anyway, an iPhone in my shorts pocket or strapped to my arm merely adds weight I'd probably not rather have about my person when concentrating on my pace and distance covered. Well, when I'm completely plumb tuckered out at the end of the run, I can call a ride-hailing app such as Uber Ride for my watch to take me home. And since an Uber Ride can only be set up from the app, being able to make a call from my wrist didn't help in this case. Now, as spotted by Mac Rumors, Uber has stopped supporting the watch app. If you launch it on your watch you see a message, which frankly should have been checked for grammatical sense before it was released, which says, please switch to the Uber mobile app. We no longer supporting the Apple Watch app. Sorry for the inconvenience. There's also a tearful emoji at the end of the last sentence. Now, it may be that hardly anyone used the watch app in this way. That's the most likely explanation. Or it could be that Uber drivers were sick and tired of picking up unpleasantly sweaty passengers who would proceed to bore them with details of their latest personal best. Both the App Store and the Uber website have not been updated to reflect the fact that you can't use the app on the watch anymore, and indeed you can still download it. So, the whole thing has been rather sloppily handled, and it's a shame. I'm not saying it's putting me off going for a lung-busting, record-breaking run, it's my knees that are dissuading me from that, but the removal of functionality from an app, even if it was only lightly used, is a disappointment.